Hi, everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Elsie, and we've been reading a story in this article about a young girl named Coraline. Now she doesn't get a lot of attention from her parents, so when they move into a new house, she explores on her own. One day, she finds a door with a brick wall behind it. But the next day, the brick wall is gone. Perfect. That means she can go through it, and obviously, she follows the passage behind the door, where she finds this crazy other world with these other parents. Everything's kind of weird there.、Mm-hmm. Other parents have buttons for eyes.、Mm. Cats can talk. Cats can talk.、Mm-hmm. Oh, only one cat, right? So、yeah. the cat can talk.、Mm-hmm. And toys can move. But. Other mother actually pays attention to her, and then other mother gives her the chance to stay forever. It sounds like a good offer until other mother says Coraline will have to sew buttons in her eyes. Nope, too scary for Coraline. She's out of there. Except when she gets back, her real parents are gone. So what happened to、mm-hmm. their real? To her real parents, let's find out where they went in day two of our article. Okay. Reading. Coraline. The next morning, Coraline's parents still haven't returned. When she wakes up, the black cat leads her to a mirror. Through which Coraline can see her parents. Other mother has trapped Coraline's parents in other worlds, as punishment for rejecting her offer. Though frightened, Coraline knows she must go back to other world to save them. Coraline confronts other mother as soon as she reaches other world. However, other mother responds by trying one final time. To convince Coraline to stay with her, when Coraline refuses again, other mother locks her behind a mirror as well. There, she discovers the ghosts of three children trapped in the closet with her. The ghosts tell Coraline how they had let other mother sew buttons into their eyes. Other mother had eventually grown bored of them, casting their spirits aside. Sadly. The ghosts can't move on until other mother releases their souls. They beg Coraline to escape and avoid the same awful fate. However, Coraline won't throw in the towel. She won't stop until she saves her parents. Okay, the first line of our article says, "The next morning." Coraline's parents still haven't returned or come back. Now, I don't know if I would have been able to sleep at night if my parents had disappeared. I definitely can't.、Mm. And what happens after Coraline wakes up the next morning? Yeah, I'll see. I agree. I think this is strange. I don't think I would have gone to bed. I think I would have just looked for my parents. But、yeah. it is a story, and things are still weird. So here it says, when she wakes up, the black cat leads her to a mirror, through which Coraline can see her parents. So, currently, the situation is that the black cat leads her to a mirror. 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 Through, 最后再把介系词 through 移到冠代 which 前面，变成 the black cat leads her to a mirror through which Coraline can see her parents. 不过为什么这里需要逗号呢？因为这是一个补数的用法，补充叙述这个 mirror 镜子的功能。Okay, so now we know that Coraline sees her parents. Yes. But they're not in a very good situation. She's seeing them through a mirror. Now, here it kind of explains what's happened. The article says, "Other mother has trapped Coraline's parents in other world as punishment for rejecting her offer." 
Okay, that's not good. Here it says that other mother has trapped Coraline's parents. Trap is a verb. When you trap someone or something, you force them to stay in a place so they cannot escape or get free. Here's an example: The police trapped the robbers in the jewelry store. They had nowhere to go. Trap 在文章中当的是动词，设陷阱、困住某个人或某个东西。那过去式呢？和过去分词，你要在字尾加上 p e d， 也就是重复字尾 p， 再加 e d 变成 trapped。那文章中用的是现在完成式 has trapped。那如果 trap 当做名词的时候呢，它指的是陷阱的意思，像是抓老鼠的陷阱捕鼠器就叫做 a mouse trap。回到文章中呢，另一个世界的妈妈困住了 Coraline 的真父母，原因是她 reject 拒绝了她的提议。So it means Coraline has to go back to other world. Mm, it sounds like it, and that's.、Uh, I don't think she wants to go back there, but she has to. So here it says, though frightened, Coraline knows she must go back to other world to save them. Now, Elsie, I guess that's the right decision. But I feel like something bad is going to happen. Yeah, it's scary because we don't know what the parents in other world are going to do with Coraline and her real parents. Ooh, I'm getting the shivers. Okay, so Coraline is on her way back to other world. Here it says Coraline confronts other mother as soon as she reaches other world. She's Brave, she is.、Mm -hmm. Confront 这个动词呢，是面对某人，或者是面临遭遇某事。Coraline 需要面对另一个世界的母亲，才可以解决问题。And what does the phrase "as soon as" mean? Actually, "as soon as" has a very easy meaning. It just means another way of saying immediately or right away. So, as soon as she gets there, immediately after she gets there, or right away, she confronts other mother. 也就是立刻马上的意思。那 as soon as 这个片语呢，带出第一件事情，逗号接上去之后呢，会有第二件事情出现。两件事情发生的时间。一前一后相隔中间的时间是非常短的，也就是说呢，第一件事情先发生，第二件事马上就接着发生。For example, as soon as I got home, the phone rang. 我一到家，电话就响了。那回到文章，当 Coraline 到了 Other World 之后，到底发生什么事情呢 ？What happens after she gets there? Okay, well, we know she's brave, but. Even if you're brave, it's not going to be that easy. Here in the article, it says, however, other mother responds by trying one final time to convince Coraline to stay with her. So Coraline's gone in there. She said, "You give me my parents back." Another mother goes. Oh, but are you sure you don't want to stay in other world? She's trying to convince Coraline to stay. When you convince someone, you try to persuade them to do something. Now you can do this by giving them good reasons to do something, or to make something seem really great, so the person will want to do that thing. Here's an example. I couldn't convince anyone to go to the concert with me because the tickets were too expensive. Convince 这个动词呢是说服，说服某人去做某事。Convince somebody to do something, or we can say persuade somebody to do something. How do you spell persuade? P E R S U A D E. Erin, is it easy to convince you to persuade you to change your mind? It depends what you're trying to convince me to do. What about it's just a little thing like、um, I'm trying to convince you to change、um, your glasses.、Uh, if I liked the new glasses, I totally would. Okay, yeah. So、right. here, other、mm -hmm. mother tries to convince Coraline to stay with her one last time. Let's find out if it worked. I really think it probably doesn't. All right, here in the article it says when Coraline refuses again. Okay, she says no. Other mother locks her behind a mirror as well. <gasps> well, that is not great. Now everyone's trapped. 
Is she alone there behind the mirror? Good question. Maybe her parents are there. Maybe someone else is there. And we soon find out she is not alone. In the article, it says there. That's behind the mirror. She discovers the ghosts of three children trapped in the closet with her. <gasps> Oh, things are getting very, very scary here.、Uh, it just keeps getting worse and worse for Coraline. Now there's ghosts and more bad news. Here, the article says the ghosts tell Coraline how they had let other mother sew buttons into their eyes. So the ghosts、Ooh. have button eyes too. This is so, so gross. So the three children. Had buttons in their eyes. Yeah, I guess so. In the past, these children must have lived in the house and gone through the passage, and maybe said, "Okay, I like other world. I'll live in this other world, and you can put buttons in my eyes." <sighs> so I don't know about that. No, me neither. This ugh, I don't know about these children. All right, let's find out why they did this awful thing. Here it says, other mother had eventually grown bored of them, casting their spirits aside. Okay, so obviously they liked other mother at first, and they put the buttons in their eyes. But then other mother got bored of them. Now, when you're bored with something, bored is an adjective. You're tired of it, or you're not interested in the thing that you're doing. Or the thing that you have anymore, and you can also be bored if you have nothing to do. As an example, we could say the children quickly got bored of the toy and started fighting with each other. Bored 这个情绪形容词呢是厌烦的、无聊的、不感兴趣的。那我们在第一天的文章当中也有一个情绪形容词哦，同学们还记得吗？是 horrified， 感到害怕的，感到震惊。那例句呢？这边再给同学们一个，就是 There's nothing to do in the house. I'm very bored. 也就是 I feel very bored. 我感到非常无聊。那如果今天我们要表达的是令人无聊的、令人乏味的，我们要把字尾改成 ing， 是 boring 这个形容词。For example, the movie was boring to me, so I almost fell asleep. 电影令我觉得无聊，所以呢，我几乎要睡着了。In the article, other mother got bored with the three children, so she cast their spirits aside. That's right. Okay, so let's look at this word "cast." It's a verb. Now, "cast" can have a lot of meanings, but here, "cast" sort of means to throw something somewhere. But in the article, we actually use the phrase "cast aside," which means to get rid of something or throw something a throw something away or to the side. You maybe you don't throw it away, but you put it away somewhere that you don't see it because you just don't like it or you're not interested in it anymore. So, here I'm going to give an example sentence for "cast," and that's Ben cast another log onto the fire. So Ben picked up a log. He threw it on the fire. Now, if I make another sentence for "cast aside," we could say this: As soon as the new iPhone came out, Sophie cast her old one aside. Cast 这个动词呢是扔、掷的动作，三态同形哦。我们说 cast, cast, cast。那文章中用到的是 cast aside， 抛弃、丢掉某个东西，也就是 throw away 或是 get rid of something。Poor children, their spirits got cast away, cast aside by other mother. Yeah, she doesn't want them. I guess other mother just gets bored really easily, and she just sort of throws her things away like an old toy she doesn't want anymore. Now I'm starting to think that Coraline made the right decision to not stay in other world. However. The ghosts don't have that ability. Here it says, "Sadly, the ghosts can't move on until other mother releases their souls or lets their souls go." Now let's look at this phrase, "move on." Here, the phrase "move on" is used to say that someone is leaving the place they've been staying. 
and going to another place. Now, in the story, the ghost souls have to stay in other world. They can't leave or move on. It's like a they can't move on to heaven or something like that. I guess. Now, as an example, we could say after m- visiting France, we'll move on to Germany. Move on is 继续前进 To move on to somewhere, 继续前进到某一个地方。那如果今天你的朋友遇到一件令他相当难过的事，让他伤心了很久，没有办法做正事，你可以跟他说 ，You need to move on. 你必须往前走，继续前进，而不是停留在原地。So let's move on to the next part of our article. What do the children tell Coraline? Okay, well, the children being stuck, they do have a smart idea for Cor- Coraline. Here it says they beg Coraline to escape and avoid the same awful fate, or avoid getting stuck like them. Now, escape is a verb, and when you escape, you get away from a dangerous place, person, or situation. Especially if that situation, person, or place is trying to stop you from getting away. For example, we could say the hunter tried to shoot the deer, but it ran away and escaped. Escape 这个名词是逃离、逃脱，也就是 get away, run away 的意思。The three children try to ask Coraline to escape. 他们三个小孩呢，试着要叫这个 Coraline 赶快逃离这个地方。In this way, she can avoid the awful fate that they have. 这样她就不用跟他们一样有这么糟糕的命运了。All right. Well, we did use an adjective in that sentence, "awful," that we should talk about. Now, something that's awful is very bad, very unpleasant. It's something. It's just not very nice. Now, if you are going to be trapped behind a mirror for the rest of your life or the rest of eternity, I guess you would probably think that's pretty awful, or probably even more than that, pretty terrible. Right? It's terrible. Yeah. It's- That's not great at all. All right, here's an example sentence for awful. What is that awful smell? Did you forget to take out the garbage? Awful is 糟糕的。那它是一个形容词。你要用 awful 这个字的时候，代表你已经没有办法用 bad 来表达了。它是 very bad， 很糟糕的。So does Coraline listen to them? Well, Coraline might be brave, but maybe she's not so smart. She knows it's a good idea, but she's not going to listen to them. Here it says, however, Coraline won't throw in the towel. She won't stop until she saves her parents. All right, brave Coraline, you're not going to throw in the towel. What does that mean? Well, it's our for you chat, or it's our shortcut for you today. Not our for you chat. Sorry. It's our shortcut for you, so we're going to stop right now. We're going to find out what "throw in the towel" means, and then we're going right to our for you chat. So we'll see you back there. Shortcut for you. How's your week been? It's been okay. I've been really busy training. Training for what? I was getting ready for this big tennis match on Saturday. Aren't you anymore? I'm not sure what to do. My tennis partner is injured, so I'm not sure I'll be able to play. What? You've worked so hard. You can't throw in the towel now. Huh? I mean, I'm sad, but I'm not going to throw towels at you. I'm not talking about actual towels. To throw in the towel means to quit doing something. Got it. So to throw in the towel means 放弃认输 That's right. Hey, you know what? I could be your tennis partner on Saturday. I didn't know you played tennis. Well, I've only played once, and it went pretty badly. But now I have a whole day to improve. You know what? Throwing in the towel might be the better choice. Hey! For you, chat. 
Okay, our for you chat question today: What keeps you from giving up when you're faced with a difficult problem? Please explain. Wow, this is a serious question.、Mm. So, what keeps me from giving up when I'm faced with a difficult problem? I think it's the sense of achievement、yeah. that I want to have. Yeah, after I solve the problem. Yeah, you want to have that good, proud, successful feeling, feeling right? Yeah.、Okay. So, when I want to give up, I try to think about the bad feeling. That I'm going、mm, to have, right? If I really give up, okay, that's a smart way to do it. And the bad feeling keeps me going, keeps、yeah. me moving on. Ah, okay. I feel like that's a good idea, but maybe instead of feeling that bad emotion as motivation, <laughs> just keep thinking of that good feeling as motivation. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Well. To each their own. If that works for you, then I'm not going to stop you, Elsie. <laughs> What about you? Um, probably. I like. I feel like. That good feeling is probably my motivation.、Mm-hmm. Now, I think when I'm starting to think about giving up, it's because I don't know how to solve the problem because it's too big of a problem to solve. And so, I actually have a little trick to solving the problem. And what I do is I sort of make the big problem into a bunch of smaller problems、mm-hmm. that I know how to solve easily. So if I can solve a bunch of smaller problems really easily, it'll make the bigger problem easier to solve. Oh, that's、mm. brilliant! Yeah, so that's kind of what I do, and it's not really something that keeps me going. It just sort of makes it easier for me to not give up. I okay, guess. Yeah. I see. All right. Well, what about you guys? You guys can do. Anything you want to keep yourself from giving up. There are lots of ways to not give up. What do you guys do? Chat about it with your friends and your classmates. But we are going to say goodbye. So until tomorrow, this is English for you, and I'm Erin, and I'm Elsie. Goodbye. Bye bye. Coraline. The next morning, Coraline's parents still haven't returned. When she wakes up, the black cat leads her to a mirror, through which Coraline can see her parents. Other mother has trapped Coraline's parents in other worlds, as punishment for rejecting her offer. Though frightened, Coraline knows she must go back to other world to save them. Coraline confronts other mother as soon as she reaches other world. However. Other mother responds by trying one final time to convince Coraline to stay with her. When Coraline refuses again, other mother locks her behind a mirror as well. There, she discovers the ghosts of three children trapped in the closet with her. The ghosts tell Coraline how they had let other mother sew buttons into their eyes. Other mother had eventually grown bored of them. Casting their spirits aside, sadly, the ghosts can't move on until other mother releases their souls. They beg Coraline to escape and avoid the same awful fate. However, Coraline won't throw in the towel. She won't stop until she saves her parents. Vocabulary review. Trap. Kirk trapped the big spider in a glass jar, then set it free outside. Convince. Jason was feeling a bit tired, but his friends convinced him to go to the night market with them. Bored. The father told the kids a story to stop them from getting bored during the long car journey. Cast. The fishermen stood at the side of the boat and cast their nets into the ocean. Escape. The criminal tried to escape from prison, but he was caught by the guards and given an extra five years. Awful. The service at that restaurant was awful. I'm never going there again.